Okay, and let's talk about the whole concept of self-driving technology, right? A lot of people think it's a lie. And, uh, a lie. <laughs> yeah, like literally. <laughs> Yeah, if you go on if you go on uh, YouTube, for example, and you search self-driving cars, some of the videos you see, we actually use the word self, we use the word lie in the title. Okay. Like, so some people think it's a lie. That's like the extreme. And some people think the capabilities of technology are being exaggerated by car companies and tech companies. Sure. What do you think? I mean, I, I think it's a, it is a famously hard problem, right? I think whenever we started getting pretty good with the computer vision problem of being able to recognize objects, um, it felt like we were almost there, right? Like what else is there? Once you understand the world, like you mm -hmm. can just start to navigate in it. Um, it turns out to be extremely challenging. Like the diversity of the situations you encounter in the real world are mind blowing. Like there are there's some excellent talks by some folks at Waymo of just some of the crazy situations they encountered. And one, I believe it was a woman in an electric wheelchair chasing a turkey around with a broom like there's no you can't prepare for seeing something like that <laughs> and like for the human mind like it is astounding how easily we can comprehend this situation that is novel that you've never even heard of or thought of before but if you saw that you would instantly recognize it you would know the limits of where you can drive and how to you know should i go fast should i go slow like definitely slow wide berth wait maybe wait for this to resolve right mm -hmm. and that intuition is really hard to to recreate Yes, see, yes, see. So some grace, some grace is needed there, I think, yeah. to to give the technology time to to actually be I mean, fully ready. No, I mean, so like I think, like when you think about the most successful robotics in history, it's definitely the vacuum cleaner, right? Okay. Like the, it was. I think the application is so perfect because it's so simple. Like the like really, the Roomba. Yeah. Okay. Like the perception problem is really easy. Like, did you hit something? Right, mm -hmm. and try to keep track of where you are and what this map of the space is like. Uh, and then plan a path to <laughs> run back and forth over that whole space. It's a very, very simple problem. Um, meanwhile, I think the, the driving task is really complicated because there's four or five extremely hard problems and you have this real-time time constraint and you have the human safety factor. So even if you have a, a car that can do this, can do it reliably, right? Can Will it be safer than a human, right? Can we hit those reliability benchmarks? And how do we convince ourselves that it's reliable without driving it a bunch? Mm -hmm. I think one of the biggest answers is simulation, but yeah, I think it's a, I think driving seemed easier than it, than it was. Than it was, okay.